Some pretty major news dropped for the Algorand ecosystem, and AlgoKit version 3 is officially out. In case you missed it, if you're someone who works with TypeScript, whether you're building apps or working on front-end interfaces or doing anything on the modern web stack, this is a pretty big deal. For the first time, the Algorand blockchain is now speaking your language. And up until now, developers often had to learn new languages like Solidity or Rust or something obscure for ecosystem-specific actions just to build on-chain. And that's been a major wall for a lot of folks. There's Plenty of talented developers that have stayed out of blockchain altogether because the barrier to entry just really wasn't worth it. Well, that all changes now with AlgoKit v3 as it introduces full native TypeScript support for Algorand smart contracts. So let's think about that for just a second. In the exact same language that a lot of people are already using in React, Angular, or Node, well, they can now use that to write and deploy smart contracts without needing to pick up a whole new syntax or rely on extra layers of tooling to translate the code. AlgoKit v3 adds visual debugging, which honestly is a huge step forward instead of relying on endless console logs or trying to decode a vague error message. You can now actually see what's happening in your smart contracts as they run. And most blockchain dev teams today are split. You got front-end people that are crafting interface and a totally separate group that's writing back-end blockchain logic, usually in totally different languages with two totally different workflows. And that kind of division slows things down, creates gaps in communication, and causes all kinds of other issues. But with TypeScript on the front end and Python on the back end, and both now are fully supported on Algorand, you don't need to keep those roles separate. Teams can work more closely and efficiently, and front-end developers can finally follow what's happening on-chain so back-end engineers can easily sync with front-end logic. Everyone moves a whole lot faster. And so this isn't just another version bump, but really a massive door opening up for Algorand's development. There are around 10 million TypeScript developers out there, and that's a whole lot more than most of the active developers in a lot of ecosystems. The hard part that's been the learning curve is now completely gone. And so it's not really about whether people can build on blockchain anymore, it's really just about what they're going to build and that they finally can.